Hi, I'm making a video. Hair got cut. <laughs> it's super short, but it'll grow out and eh. I'm not in love with it, but um in about two weeks it'll be long enough to mow hockey. It's Thursday the twenty first. Sid at uh, about 11.20 p.m. I thought I'd make a quick vlog because uh, I haven't in a while and um, soon I'll have a little more time on my hands and won't know what to do with myself. I guess I will go back on treatment which will be super exciting since I've sort of taken a break for most of marching season. I've, I've just been too sick and I can't imagine making myself I have a harder time doing this. It takes all my energy to rehearse three days a week and go to a contest on the weekends and sometimes a football game. Um, anyway, um, it's a weird long hair. <laughs> I don't see myself in the mirror very much. Anyway, um, tomorrow we have our last rehearsal of the contest season. Um, next week we have a rehearsal on Thursday, which is sort of pictures and whatever. Um, and then Friday we have our last football game of the season where we'll do our show. Um, so it's winding up pretty quick. Um, we're ending a little early this year, at least for me. For this group, it's pretty normal. Um, next year we'll go a lot later. Um, we're, we're already in the works developing, we know what we're doing next season and we're, we're developing it and getting an arranger and all of that stuff. So that's really exciting um, that things have gone well enough this year that we're already ready to roll for next year. Um, it's been an exciting ride and um, I'm definitely really proud of how far these kids have, become, have, have come in their... Um, in their ability to spin as well as their uh, ability to rehearse. Um, it, it's, it takes some time to learn how to rehearse at the level that we rehearse. I don't know what that is. Um, anyway, tomorrow I have to go to the OBGYN surgeon. Should get the results of whatever happened last time. And she should have my old um, files so we should be able to talk about what kind of surgical intervention we are going to do, be it histo, full histo, uh, oophorectomy, the ablation really is sort of off the table because it doesn't really take care of the endometriosis aspect of things, which is why we're getting rid of things. Um, getting rid of things is not really based in my gender stuff. It's more based in my pain and the endometriosis being a bigger factor. Um, the gender stuff does play into it and as much as I don't want to go into menopause I can't continue the way things are right now. The antibiotics which I will be on definitely um, interfere with any level of birth control we try to use and by doing that, it weakens the birth control, and weakening the birth control means that the endometriosis is not in control. Um, and there may not be a ton in there right now, but I just don't want to deal with the fact that five years down the line, we have to go in again if we do a laparoscopy. Um, I just don't want to deal with it. I don't. I don't want to deal with it, and. And so I guess that is part of the gender stuff coming in, but it doesn't, to me, it, my choice is not based in the fact that I don't claim the female gender. It's more in the fact that I can't continue to deal with the bullshit. And I'm in a situation where the bullshit is amplified because of the Lyme disease. Um, and I just don't, to be honest... I don't want to continue to have to deal with pap smears and all of that. Um, I don't have a ton of lower dysphoria, but I do have a lot of issues surrounding that and panic um, and anxiety. And I just can't have that sort of added anxiety even once a year. It's not good for me. It's not good for my adrenals. It stress is bad for Lyme. 
Um, my left shoulder has been bothering me again, which makes me a bit nervous. Because um, it's been only three years, I think. Yes, three years. Two or three years since I've had that one done. Um, and when we did my right one this spring, they said that it, it more likely than anything was bursitis that had done it to both shoulders. And they actually had proof of the bursitis in the right shoulder, and I, I'm curious if that's what's coming back. It's the bursitis, since I'm back spinning a little bit more again. I'm trying to take it easy. Um, so I'm going tomorrow. We'll see how the histo goes. I'll let you know. Um, my kids are going to their final contest this season. We have one more rehearsal tomorrow. And then Saturday, it's kind of a prelims finals thing. Um, I don't really talk about the finals, because... Mm, do they have a chance? Mm, everybody else has a chance too. Um, they definitely have a good show. They, um, the visual package, as far as what I designed, sort of judging that, um, they were fourth, and they are they were in the smallest class. There's one A, two A, three A, and four A. They were fourth. The top three bands were all four A. They were huge. So we definitely have a really competitive package, which has definitely helped solidify that I am okay at doing my job. I've had a lot of help from Jackie this season because it's taken me a while to get back into it. I've never been able to or allowed to fully design marching band shows, so it's taken a little bit of adjustment to having that sort of heavy weight on my shoulders, and I'm actually sort of, no, I'm not sort of, I'm really looking forward to what this group is going to be capable of for next season. Um, they're definitely evolving, and they definitely will be my guard in four years. They are becoming my guard. Um, but they do have their moments, and they had a great rehearsal today. So hopefully tomorrow's rehearsal will be just as good. Hopefully there will be no panic tomorrow for the OBGYN appointment. And it's Jackie's first time meeting her, and we're looking for her a new OBGYN, which hopefully this will, this will work for her too as far as feeling comfortable I wish she gets to meet her before her appointment my mom is also going with me which is sort of panic inducing in a way and on and, and the other hand I I agree that I think it sort of it sort of calms her fears about it and she, she'll probably have, will bring some good questions to the table as well so that's what's going on with me I don't really know What's going on in the level, in the world of transition? I need to get hold of the Susan. I haven't been to see her. Every time I go in, I'm just so panicked. Um, panicked is the wrong word. I'm so anxious about going to rehearsal that I can't really get where I need to be. Uh, and I don't necessarily know if she's the best fit, and I don't necessarily know what, what would be. But I'm still trying to figure it out. Um... Part of me wants to roll into an experiment mode and just go, hmm, let's just try changing the pronouns for now. Let's see how changing the pronouns would make me feel. But I think I have, I think the major problem comes down to I am so considerate and concerned about the people around me that I don't want to do that. And that's sort of the crux of all of this. Um, and even to go the hypothetical, well, what would I do if I wasn't in a relationship? If I was, you know, I don't know, in between high school and college and I was able to entirely reinvent myself, would I do it? Even in that hypothetical, I don't know. I don't know that I would. And I, I've sort of, my ears have sort of perked up to when I am gendered. Um, a lot of times in work situations. Um, so there are very, very few sort of moments where I am, I am being faced with the pass or not pass thing. Um, most of the time people know my gender. Well, they know what they think it is. Um, my ears sort of perk up, and in my head I always go through, am I okay with this? Am I going to be okay with this for the rest of my life? Would it make me feel better to be something else? I don't know, so I'm still working on it. Anyway, um, 
Congratulations to everybody out there in the trans community who has had surgery lately or is recovering from surgery of some sort. Um, I wish I uh, could be joining you top surgery people, hopefully soon. Uh, anyway, take care. I'll see you later.